What's up, Sticks and Hacks? We are uh, doing something a little different today. I'm gonna jump on the speed train and we're gonna see just how fast I can get. This is gonna be my baseline session. I basically wanna see how fast I can swing right now, club head speed, ball speed, how I'm doing, so that as I do the stack over the next handful of weeks to try to get faster, I can come back and see how that actually translates to how I hit a golf ball. I've got my Foresight GC2 with HMT fired up. I got the stickers on the driver. Right now, I'm gonna hit 10 balls as hard as I can, and we'll see where I end up. All right, right out the gates, 157 ball speed, 107 club head speed. And that's kind of where I expect to be. I think I average somewhere between 106, 108 with the club. Uh, ball speed kind of mid 150s. My goal is to consistently break 160. Try to get a little faster. Smash factor 147. I think I was using some old golf ball. Maybe a little high on the face there. Lost well, some efficiency, but we got but we got almost 107 on the club, just 151 on the ball speed. So smash factor a little bit low there. Right, let's go back to the Snell. Brand new Snell MTB Black. Still high on the face. 258 carry, 151 ball speed, 106 club. All right, ball number three. Ah. High on the face, real high on the face. So that's real low ball speed. Just 145 ball speed, 107 club. So I've been pretty consistent around 107. Uh, efficiency way down at 1.36 for smash factor. So not a great strike. All right, let's see if we can get one more in the center of the club face. That was much better. You see that ball speed jump to 155, carry of 266 according to GS Pro on 106 club. So again, that's right about where I live. It's in that 106 range. I'd like to see that get close to 115. That's a long way to go, but I'm young and strong. I can get there. One fifty two ball speed, one oh six club head speed, two sixty three carry. The Snells are definitely going further than the Strixons because I hit that one pretty good. <sighs> Maybe a little low. All right, one fifty four ball, one oh seven club, smash only one four four, a little low on the club face, so only carried two fifty five. Must go faster. Not a bad strike, so 154 ball, 107 club. Again, my efficiency around 1.44, that could be better. Carried 260. That one I felt like was pretty good. 55 ball speed, 107 club, 260 carry. It's about what I do stock, it feels like. All right, one more. All right, 105.5, 153 ball, carry 263, pretty, pretty good strike there. Pretty consistent. All right, so if I look at the par practice app, you know, I can see my highest ball speed was 157. My highest club head speed was right in that 107 range. That's really where I've been living. Uh, Smash Factor pretty much lives in that 144 range. Uh, you got any tips to get that up, let me know, because I feel like I'm hitting that pretty much in the center of the club face. Um, all right, so if I finish that drill, that shows my max ball speed at 157. That puts me about 11 miles lower than the PGA Tour average of 168, according to the Par Practice app. Uh, if I look at my club head speed at 106, that's right at what a scratch should be or what a scratch average is, which I'm a scratch player, so that makes sense. I'd like to bump that up quite a bit. I think I got a lot more speed in me, uh, but that's kind of where I'm living today. 106, 107 miles an hour a club right around 155 ball speed. I would really like to be breaking 160 consistently, driving it even further on the golf course. So I've got the stack system, I've got the weights, I've got the club. Uh, I've fiddled around with it a little bit. This is my first time doing speed training. I've done super speed a little bit. I did about half of the foundation on the stack before life got too busy and I had to put it down for a bit. So I'm 
revisiting it, but because I've done some speed training before, I'm a little curious on what I can really get out of it if I throw myself at it and I'm consistent. I guess I'm kind of worried that I might have already plateaued a little bit, but hey, maybe with some weight training, some work, let's see if I can get that 106 to get above 110. And, and really just take it from there, get above 160 ball speed and take that to the course and then really see what can happen with my handicap. This was just laying the foundation, getting my baseline. Stay tuned for the next series where I'll actually start doing the training with the stack system and let's see how fast I can get.